When you take a look at the Cybertruck, there is lots of talk about the Cybertruck, of course, looking for updates here in this release. The one line that they did give was that it's on track to begin production this year. Is this at all important to the investor story or how big of an impact this could maybe have on Tesla, given the fact that maybe they are struggling a little bit with demand for its other vehicles? Yeah, I think it's really important. Um, during our discussions with investors, I think the focus really is on what price point Tesla can deliver for this vehicle now. Obviously, a lot of things have changed since Tesla first unveiled the Cybertruck. And so I think it, the the ultimate price point that they can deliver for this vehicle, I think is called $60,000, $70,000, would be uh, not as not as meaningful to the company. If they can deliver something under $60,000 for the Cybertruck, then you're starting to talk about a much more meaningful TAM. And Pickups obviously are a large profitable segment, particularly in the U.S. Before now, Tesla has released several updates on the Cybertruck. However, this new update could be a sign that the truck is closer than many may expect. Investors, if this is part of their investor yeah. story, now you're looking at probably Q2 2024, if you're factoring that in at all. And yeah, to your point, Reuters has hundreds of thousands, and Elon did comment saying, there had more orders of the Cybertruck than we could possibly fulfill for three years after the start of production. So it's, look, it's fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. What is fool me three times? And that's what we're on now, the third time that we have pushed this off. There's not even a phrase for that. So I guess just wake me up when this is all over. Um, I have another question, though, what the price tag will be for this Cybertruck. That's a big one, Rochelle. The last we heard, he was open for uh, $40,000. That was in 2019, an entirely different world in which we live now. Hard to imagine that price anywhere close to that number. And when you speak about the delays and you mention that price, 40000 well, when you think of uh, the Formula F-150 electric truck, the Lightning, that came to market fast while the Cybertruck was still waiting to come on, they already had to raise prices up nearly 11% and a 30% increase of the truck's price. Now at about 51000 they also had originally priced theirs at about 40000 So I, I definitely don't think you're going to be getting this Cybertruck anywhere near $40,000. But, you know, all these delays, it's given a lot more room for competitors to sort of squeeze in there with these electric pickups. And, and as we've said before, still really not sure who's in the market for a Cybertruck. It might not be your classic F-150 purchases. So we'll, no. we'll have to see. But clearly a lot of buzz. We'll see if it pans out. I was going to say, Dave, you actually fall in that F-150. That's your dream car, oh, right? Absolutely. I don't think you're buying a Cybertruck. Are you buying a Cybertruck I'm Cyber not getting anywhere soon? near yeah. this thing. Didn't not for like 20 k No, <laughs> Ford F-150 all the way, my friend. <laughs> The GigaPress program is a series of aluminium die-casting machines manufactured for Tesla initially by Idra Group in Italy. Tesla has been focusing on casting technology to produce larger parts of its vehicles in bigger pieces. In 2020, Tesla introduced what was believed to be the world's biggest casting machine outside its Vermont factory. The machine is so big that it couldn't be assembled inside the factory, and so Tesla assembled it outside and then built a roof over it. Interestingly, Tesla is looking to build another massive gigapress in Texas, and this could become the second largest gigapress that anyone has ever seen. Hey guys, and welcome back to Tesla Tomorrow. Last year, Idra, the maker of Tesla's largest casting press, teased a new 9,000 ton gigapress that would take the prize as the world's largest. In January, Tesla was spotted taking delivery of the massive casting press, and over the last few months since the delivery, Idra has been teasing the preparation for the shipment of another 9,000 ton press. And obviously, Tesla was rumored to again be the client. Considering Tesla's relationship with Idra, it was rumored that the new machine would be for the automaker. The new Giga Press is bound for Tesla's Gigafactory in Texas, and Musk has since confirmed that the machine is going to be used for the Cybertruck body at the Texas factory. Will the Cybertruck be hitting the markets sooner than expected? Let's find out. But before we do, if you like this type of content, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications to keep up to date on everything going on with Tesla. Once this new Gigapress is installed, Tesla is going to have the two biggest presses in the world, both of which are expected to be used for Cybertruck production. The automaker also has a few 6-ton Gigapress units for a Model Y production facility in the same factory. Following the success of integrating the largest casting technology ever, several other automakers are reportedly looking to follow in Tesla's footsteps. 
HR reported sometime last year that half a dozen other automakers are currently in talks to adopt the technology, but it could take years before they can integrate it into any vehicle programs. This is not the case for Tesla, as the automaker is already moving into a wider integration of the technology, including the Cybertruck, which is going to have even larger single casting parts. Tesla aims to start production of the Cybertruck this summer, but volume production is not expected until 2024. It is still unclear if both Gigapress are going to be needed for the start of the production, or if the second one is meant to be used to achieve high production volumes. Tesla's Cybertruck is arguably the most anticipated Tesla project for this year, and if it is eventually achieved, then several other Tesla projects could follow suit. Tesla's EVs are cheaper than they've been for years, following a series of price cuts undertaken by the automaker this year. Now, Tesla's Model Y SUV, the brand's most popular model and the best-selling one in the world, cost less than that of the average new car. In late April, Tesla added a cheaper Model Y to its site and subsequently dropped that model's price to $46,990. ARK Invest CEO Kathy Wood predicts that fully electric vehicle sales will reach 90% of global car sales in 2027, as consumers become aware of the shift taking place, causing demand for petrol and diesel cars to relapse completely. Possibly more than the Cybertruck, ARK is quite expectant of the Tesla robotaxi. The technology research and investment firm stated that solid safety data and the huge progress being made in AI could see Tesla roll out its first fully automotive robotaxi this year. In a published analysis that offered various odds on when Tesla will first commercialize its robotaxi business model, Arc says the recent flurry of AI progress from large language models to image generation diffusion models should accelerate innovation in the autonomous driving industry. Arc stated that Tesla already uses transformers that are popularized by large language models for lane and intersection prediction. They say, In our view, Tesla's vertical integration strategy and Dojo training supercomputer are key competitive advantages. Training currently runs at 100% capacity, suggesting that Tesla's plan to expand beyond Dojo by two orders of magnitude next year will help the company shorten the time between model updates. Recent videos of its latest full self-driving software update suggest that Tesla is close to launch in some geographies. Arc claims that 22% of its simulations predict that Tesla will commercialize its first fully autonomous robotaxi this year, with another 33% predicting that first commercialization will happen next year. The firm believes that regulators will be won over by Tesla's irrefutable safety data. According to ARK Invest, Tesla's data library should help prove statistically the safety of its vehicles. This gives it a significant advantage over peers in the regulatory approval process. The car company's customer-owned fleet drives more than 120 million miles per day and over 1 million miles per day in FSD. In contrast, in their multi-year lifetimes, Cruise and Waymo have reached just 1 million miles driven on public roads, with no one behind the wheel. Accident statistics suggest that Tesla has already achieved a performance that is superior to human drivers. According to ARK's research, Tesla's FSD is five times faster than a manually driven Tesla. However, while Tesla's price cut brought significant demand for the car company, things may not continue to stay that way, as the automaker recently hiked the price of several cars in key markets, including the US and China, after a number of cuts this year. The EV maker increased the price of vehicles including the Model 3 and Model Y in the US, China, Canada, and Japan. In China, Tesla's Model 3 now costs $33,549, or from the previous price. In the United States as well, the Model 3 and Y series of cars now cost $250 more. The Model 3 starts at $40,240, and the Model Y is placed at $47,240. Aside from this, there's also rising competition in the industry. Tesla's main competitor, BYD, also reported a 400% rise in profits compared to the same quarter last year, and a gross margin very near that of what Tesla reported in Q1. 
The carmaker just released its first mass-market electric vehicle, the $14,000 BYD Seagull, that can go for more than 200 miles on a single charge. With a more diverse fleet of electric vehicles and its own blade battery technology, BYD is perhaps Tesla's most formidable direct competitor, as Elon Musk acknowledged not long ago. The company is also expanding in niches where Tesla doesn't have a preference or presence just yet, like that of the affordable compact EVs for the mass market, a portfolio gap that won't be filled by Tesla before the eventual launch of the Model 2 next year. Powered by BYD's own Blade battery structural pack, the Seagull has reportedly been the star of the recent Shanghai Auto Show. The vehicle got 10,000 pre-orders in a 24-hour span, when its pre-sales opened, indicating that it's going to be hugely popular for BYD. BYD's profit margin of 17.86% for this past quarter is actually nearing Tesla's gross margin of 19.3% in the first January to March period of this year. Tesla started an EV price war, which was the main reason for a profit margin estimate miss that sent its shares down after the earnings report. BYD, despite logging a slightly lower profit margin for EVs in Q4, reported a rather stable outlook and an aggressive forecast that may see it beat Tesla in electric car sales numbers this year, especially if the Seagull continues to sell like it is. However, it is good to consider that despite the recent hike, the price of Tesla's vehicles remains lower than what it was at the start of the year due to several rounds of price cuts around the world, including in China and Europe, in an effort to stoke demand. Tesla CEO Elon Musk signed a deal in April, which brings in the earnings call that the automaker will be targeting larger volumes of sales versus higher margins, although he expects that the car company over time will be able to generate significant profit through autonomy. Do you share this thought though? Let us know down below and let us know what your valuation of Tesla is. And if you want to know more about what Tesla's been up to over the last few days, go ahead and click on this next video on your screen. See you there.